All right, so recently, and by recently, I mean like a month ago, because this video script is actually a bit old, Agamatsu released a video called Why You Should PvP More. But that video is hated by a lot of people, because many claim that the video single-handedly ruined Deepwoken's community. Now, I don't think this is entirely true. The video definitely started a lot of toxicity and ganking in game, but this isn't the reason why all this happened, because it was going to happen eventually with or without that video. Agamatsu was just securing his bag and clickbaiting. He has the right to do so. Anyways, other than Agamatsu ruining a game with one video, there's really not that much reason to PvP in this game. First of all, people are ganking to get luck or to boost their friends and give them luck, but you don't really get luck for gripping players. You get luck for doing X amount of damage and gripping players. So here's a good example. Aspen Ashi is an Etrian Freshy, and his friend is Gay Metamancer Shadow Lightning user who is level 60 and helping him get luck. Gay Metamancer does 100% of the damage to a level 20 player and then gives the grip to Aspen. Neither of them gain luck. Gay Metamancer doesn't gain luck because he's overleveled and he has no benefit in doing so anyway because he's level 60. Aspen doesn't gain luck because he did no damage to the random player. If two players are both level 40 and one does 80% damage and the other does 20% damage, whoever the game logs as killing you is the one who gets the luck, and the one who gets logged as killing you is the person whose username gets shown on your screen when you die. That person will always reap the benefit of a grip, even if they didn't get the grip. PvP isn't the most optimal way to gain luck either. Corrupted monsters are a much more efficient luck gain, and they're usually easier than fighting players on or even above level with you. A corrupted lionfish or sharko is basically free luck even if you're a freshie, because these are some really easy enemies to kill. Not only that, but luck can be farmed through Primadon even if you're not high enough level to do significant damage to it. You can have people who are higher levels than you harm it while you are also getting M1s in, and as long as you don't die during the fight, you'll be able to get luck through it. You can also fight Primadon and other bosses such as the Ferryman much more consistently than you can find players who are on or above level with you who are also bad, because NPCs have given attack patterns. Players don't. You're not gonna fight a player, and although every player might be Royal Pathfinder, Azur Flame, Hero Sword, and he barely knows how to parry, it doesn't matter, because you'll still probably lose to those as a level 1. Am I saying you can beat Primadon as a level 1? No, but you stand a much better chance. Well, not really, but you can get luck from farming with higher level players, so there's really no reason to PvP through that. Anyways, this was a bit of a quick video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe and join my Discord in the description and comment section below. And you can follow me on all of my social medias. Everything will be found in the description and comments below. So check it out because it's very fun and my Discord server is a good community full of good people who are not criminals. So join.